Hey friends, Shaklin here. In today's video, I'm bringing my review, demo, arm and lip swatches on the brand new Gucci Rouge Debut Brilliant. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know all the details about these new lipsticks from Gucci, then just keep on watching. So Gucci just launched more lipsticks. Yeah, more lipsticks. <laughs> In fact, Gucci rebranded their beauty line, starting with lipsticks a couple years ago. And then they are venturing into foundation, bronzer, setting powder, bra product, I mean like many other products, correct? And a couple of months ago, I saw a sneak peek of these new lipsticks and I'm like, again, but oh well, you know what? It makes total sense to launch it right now during the springtime, summertime, where you want a little bit more of that glow on your lips so they will look more plump, more pouty, I mean it's the perfect time to do so. And also because these lipsticks are a hybrid between a satin lipstick and a balm. So they appear at Sephora's website, they are available right now in many retailers. I will be leaving all the details where to find them as well as my makeup on the description box below for your convenience. And you know guys, every time that you shop through my links, you're helping my channel because I invested back to bring you more reviews and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Anyhow, my friends, these lipsticks, they are made in Italy. They have a shelf life of 18 months. Yes, this is a little box. I decided to pick three different shades and these are called the Rouge du Bout Brillant. Right here, I mean, typical Gucci style. I mean, I love their packaging, the simplistic, the black with a little bit of this pinky blush tone. And these lipsticks comes in various different shades, 15 total. They come with 0 0.06 ounces of product, which if you compare it, for example, to say that Charlotte Tilbury, her new lipsticks, those come with a little bit more. The price for each of these lipsticks are $42, which makes it really a pie, but we're talking about Gucci, we're talking about a luxury brand. These lipsticks are supposed to bring more than anything, 24 hours of hydration, 24 hours of moisture. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's quite a bit of a claim. And also 24 hours of shine and also have a plumping appearance. But when I'm talking about plumping effect, I'm not talking about those products that it will just, you know, like make your lips burn and sting. No, nothing like that. But let me show you right here how it looks like. Oh my goodness, look at this. I mean, this is very Gucci, the design. I mean, you cannot deny it. I mean, this is totally Gucci style. Looks very beautiful, it's very weighty. The only thing right here is I thought they were gonna be, you know, refillables because we have seen other products like the Gucci powder that is refillable, although we haven't seen yet the refills, but I wish they could have the refillables. Anyhow, friends, this one, the shade that I got here is called Emmy Petal. So let's just take a look right here. I love this shade. Look at this vibrant, pearly shade. Isn't it this gorgeous? Okay, let's just try it. Okay, so this right here, like I said, is between a satin lipstick and a lip balm, and it's kind of like a little bit of kind of neon kind of shade, but it's very, very translucent. It does have a very light scent. You know, very like kind of like the Hermes lipstick scent, that type of light florally. And let's see how much product do you get right here. That's a good amount of product. As far as ingredients, it has flower oils, black rose oil, peony oil, and jojoba seed oil to nourish your lips, fruit butters to moisture, and hyaluronic acid to provide long-lasting hydration. So I have filled it up as much as possible so you can see really the shade because if you go with one swipe, if you have very tinted lips like myself, you're gonna barely see the shade, barely, at least on this shade right here. And it feels very comfortable, it feels nourishing. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but it's not, it's not a sticky, you know, and it doesn't feel, you know, like super buttery in the sense like it's gonna, you know, start melting down. It actually feels very comfortable. Next, let's go for it. Call it a day, 214. Oh, I like this shade too. This 
is more of that mauvey, rosy tone. A little bit cooler in tone too. Call it a day is definitely my lips but better. Yes, this is the tone of my lips. I mean, it looks like a natural balm to me, but yet it has more pigmentation than the first one, for sure. A little bit more opacity than the first one. Obviously, I have built it up quite a bit. Comfortable, like I said, non-sticky, beautiful shade. Call it a day. Next shade, Louis Orange 307. This is, ah, this is such a beautiful shade. Wow, now this shade right here. It's gorgeous. It's that kind of like orange terracotta kind of shade. And you know what? It's kind of like that perfect golden hour. I don't know how to explain it, but this is just so beautiful. This is gorgeous, so unique too. I mean, I had to build it up obviously to get this intensity, but excuse me, Gucci. This is a very unique and gorgeous shade. And definitely I can feel the moisture, that nourishment, like how this lipstick um, slash lip balm is hugging my lips and it's actually, it feels like it's protecting my lips. It actually does. So I can feel that, yes, this can be, I mean, it feels right now very moisturizing. So I feel that they can be moisturizing throughout the day. I don't think that they are long lasting in the sense of like the pigment on my lips, you know, throughout the day because they are not, I mean, they are not that type of formulation, but I can see that hydration will be there. Now that I'm now with swatches, let me share some feedback right here. For example, if you have tried the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, I bought one and honestly, I kind of like it, but at the same time, I felt like I couldn't justify the price. It felt a little bit too pricey and the packaging felt really, you know, not up to par with Charlotte Tilbury. While these ones right here, the one from Gucci, they are really weighty, they are heavy, you know, they feel luxury, not because of the name, but from the way, the way that is made, the material, you know, like this is, this is durable stuff, and this is really, really well made. Now, if I compare on the formulation, Charlotte Tilbury has a little bit more opacity, it does have more pigment in it. So that's as far as that one goes. And then I wanted to mention really quick that new Chanel Coco Blooms. You know, I have been loving these ones right here. These are different. These have a lot more pigment, a lot more shine. These ones, yes, they have that hydration and they give that kind of lamping effect in the sense of because of the shine it makes your lips look more pouty but the coco blooms they do even more of that and they have a ton of pigment so i will say if you're looking for pigmentation right off the back then coco bloom and then if you're looking for yes a lip balm that is a hybrid like I mean, like the description says, you know, with a satin lipstick that you can build up the intensity, but yet don't feel like you have too much product on your lips. Definitely this Gucci lipstick is perfect. Okay, friends, I think this makes it for this video. I would love to know from you, are you planning to pick up any of these new Gucci lipsticks? Mostly because right now it's coming the Sephora sale. I think when you're watching this video, it's coming tomorrow, Friday, April 9th, it's starting for Rouge members at 20% off. I will be leaving all the details of the sale on the description box below as well. And if you haven't watched yet, I also have two recommendation videos. Part one, all about makeup. Part two, everything that has to do with fragrance, skincare, hair care, and whatnot. I mean, there's a ton of information that I provide right there as well as time the stamps so it's easy to navigate the video if you're looking for a certain type of products yeah so i would love to know from you if you have been eyeing these lipsticks which shades you like and which shade you like on me i always love to know your opinion and while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on instagram if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up 
also share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day.